Hey all, Russ here, RVU TV, welcome. Check it out, we are leaving this Long Jim Loop Road campsite. It was quiet, finally quieted down about dark. The helicopters quit flying. And it was down to 31 degrees. Burr. But, hey, we're going to run up here to the canyon, like right now. And uh, may happy Memorial Day, everyone. Thank you to all of our veterans for your service, too. All right, we're going to sneak in here. I always try to get up here early. That's why I didn't come in here yesterday. Should be less people, easy parking. Use my senior pass card right here. Otherwise, it's $35 a car load. Look at the clouds coming in. I mean, they got their own weather system here at the Grand Canyon. Absolutely perfect. All right, we're going to start off here at the South Rim Mather Point. This is probably the biggest, most popular one. This area in here, the visitor centers here. I mean, my goodness. Buses just roll constantly in here. Five million people, they estimate, come here every year. I mean, this place is iconic. When you think of the major icons of the, you know, tourist things like Mount Rushmore, those type places, Grand Canyon's right up there on top, Hoover Dam, Niagara Falls, and Grand Canyon, and guess what? We're here, yay, and look at it, it's empty. How about that? <laughs> Just like we planned it. All right, I'm going to get parked. So, what are you going to do today? Oh, we're just take a little walk here. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how many times I've been up here. I think this is either six or seven. And I am definitely blessed to be living in Arizona and close enough to come here this often to a place like this. Absolutely incredible. I mean, right now you're walking along thinking, hey, this little walk in the woods, some old pines here, birds chirping, kind of a cool little walk on a nice little pathway. Oh, a fence. <laughs> and here you go. Here's your... Grand Canyon, everyone, at Mather Point. Check it out. Clouds, no clouds, absolutely breathtaking. Big and vast. It takes your breath away. I don't care how many times you come up here, you just see it. Now this trail here, let's check the sign, goes quite a few miles. You can hike this trail a long ways. And no, you're not allowed bikes on here. You can't ride bikes. 
they actually have bike rentals here and even e-bikes i believe but there's pedestrian trails and then biking trails you can get a map from them which ones you can ride on this one here is called the rim trail So you can see right there, this skirts right along. They've really laid this out well. And there's no fencing, folks. I mean, you're right at the edge of this thing. <laughs> right at the edge. Wanna see? <laughs> Walk softly. Whoa! That's a long ways down there. Like a mile. Colorado River's down there somewhere. We'll look for it. Pretty cool. There's a few people every year that fall trying to get selfies. Get too close to the edge. It just keeps going and going and going down there. That one big boulder on top of that ledge here. That big crevice, that's where the Colorado River cuts through it. Okay, let me zoom in here. Got the iPhone going. There's the river. Colorado River. You can take rafting trips down through there. You know, if you go on Google Maps and go to the road view, they actually have the entire trip all the way through the Colorado, through the Grand Canyon on Google Maps. And you can see it, uh, views from down from the river up in the canyons. Once in a while you'll even catch a glimpse of their cameras on the rafts. It's pretty cool. But just like a roadway, they map the whole thing out. Well, we'll walk all the way down to the point. There's a big ledge we can walk out on. Just so perfect with no people here. Way down there, that's where the river is. Cool, huh? So we camped for free. I used my senior car to get in here. It didn't cost anything. Except fuel. Which is going through the roof. Unfortunately. Well, we say we'll walk down this trail a ways. Just enjoy the morning. Way across is the North Rim. You know, that doesn't even open till I think it's open now, end of May, way across. So. 
just a long ways to get up there. You gotta go all the way around. You either gotta go up to like St. George, cut back down, up to Page, cut around that way. It's quite the travel to get there. Okay, here's our amphitheater. Mather Point Amphitheater. Looks like the Flintstones, huh? <laughs> I'm still fighting these allergies. Could you imagine a band up here playing music? Wonder how far the echo goes, huh? That is miles across there. There's a little better look at that uh, boulder out there. What a view. A bird's eye view. Look at, we got his view right there. He's watching me, watching him. <laughs> What a place to live, Mr. Birdie. You definitely got a world up here. There he goes. He's taking a tour. Okay, we'll go down to the big overlook. That vegetation on the sides here, I mean, that's years in growth. Who knows how long. If you're fit, they got hiking adventures. They got guided tours that'll take you down into the canyon. Some of it's by mule. They got pack mules that'll take you down in there. You hike, you spend days to weeks. What's this? It's warmer than 42. They're measuring something here. Huh. Okay. Like a low weather station. You just can't keep not stopping. <laughs> Mather Point Overlook. That's where we're heading. We're up in elevation. We're definitely up here. Snow country. But the best part, almost no people. One or two early birds like me. So I'm saying if you get up here early, you got the place to yourself. I'll guarantee in an hour or so or two, sidewalks will be packed. And you're just in, uh, it's just takes away from it. Cool. I see the point. That's where we're heading. Out in that ledge.
and after this uh we'll cut over there's another good place to view the canyon we'll check that out too then we're going to go look for more boondocking areas okay this is it mather point Stephen Mather, who it's named after, part of the National Park thing. You've probably seen this uh, on countless videos and selfies, this area here. Gives you kind of a surround look here at the south rim of the Grand Canyon. can almost see the water there's trails down through there too up here they look like trails probably roads I've read articles back in the old days uh, the old timers they would take them like two months to cut across this thing Drop a coin. This vegetation everywhere. Imagine my uh, the critters and everything living here. Oh no, people. <laughs> this ain't bad at all. I've been here where it wasn't even worth coming out on this thing. It was so packed. What a view, huh? Not bad at all. We got out here, got on Mather Point. Almost no people. Nice and quiet. We'll head back for the van. Just pristine. It's always amazed me how flat it is. And then you walk right up to the canyon. <laughs> you know what else is fun too? If you see someone that's never seen the canyon before you walk up and you hear their gasp of air and oh my goodness look at this view that'd be fun just to sit here and film that all day and look how close we're parked Once again, come here early and park close. Check out the canyon. And do the, your other exploring around. Still empty. I put the cover on the bike. Last night I was able to get it to fit and get it tied down. 
I'm really liking that carrier. That's going to work out good this year, hauling that thing around this summer. Okay, here we go. Well, you know what? On the other side of the south rim here, there's another big viewpoint. We've got to go check that out too while we're up here. Those buildings off to the right, that's where all the buses stop. You can take buses from the campgrounds. Mather Campground is massive. Actually, I read a thing where they're doing first come, first serve without reservations because uh, they're doing a bunch of road work starting in July. So, if you get up here early enough, you can probably find a campground if you want to stay right in the park. But that boondocking area I had over there at Long Jim Loop. Plus, we'll find more. We're going to stop at the Forest Service, their office, and get a map. Explore that a little bit too. Okay, well, I think we've got a couple miles here. We're gonna cut over to Yap Yapapai Point. Check out more of the South Rim. Happy Memorial Day. Journey continues. Talk soon.